At the core, the real opportunity is for the Department of Energy through the Clean Energy Manufacturing Initiative to work with our partners to envision what might be possible but what others think is impossible. And one huge opportunity we have is to unleash the potential of our national laboratory system to help industrial companies all across the country be more competitive, to develop their next-gen technologies, to be first to market with better, more efficient products. As the founding challenge, we have this tremendous scientific resource in our national laboratory system. How do we break down the barriers so manufacturers can use those facilities more effectively, come together and build partnerships that are technology partnerships to solve problems that manufacturers have, leveraging that scientific infrastructure. That's the framework by which the MDF was set up. The Manufacturing Demonstration Facility is a public-private partnership with industry. It's really a portal. Companies can see advanced manufacturing technologies that we can work on together. Co-location of design, manufacturing, and research and development really allows us to move very quickly. And that's exactly what commercial entities need. We've really started being able to pull the experts from our different disciplines, they're all coming together to work on a specific problem. And for industry, they want to find out what's the overall solution. We can uh, help them overcome a technical problem very quickly and allow them to move out into the marketplace. The nice thing about the system that we are developing here is we can actually take a little ice cream scoop size piece out of the top of the cylinder head and then replace it with Inconel. Higher quality material than the original casting. We're making it stronger, we're decreasing its thermal conductivity, and we turn that into an increased efficiency for our recon engines. We're striving to make them better than you. We needed to have a lot of training. The idea was to have it at Oak Ridge National Labs because they had a huge diversity of equipment. We could have the designers touch a variety of different pieces of equipment at the same place. We worked with the subject matter experts at the lab as well as subject matter experts within Boeing to develop the curriculum and then start training our workforce. We are using this location heavily for research. Most of the battery materials are road roll manufactured. Experts are helping us to shape our ideas, design the experiments, and move on. The MDF is where we got our start with the Strati, which is the world's first 3D printed vehicle. So that work now continues with the MDF, so not just the original proof of concept with the Strati, but also ongoing materials research and development. We are fortunate to be hosted here for a number of months and be exposed to many companies coming through. Often we end up sharing some resources and helping one another and even do some matchmaking. It's been exciting to see that you know they're not just catering to the big companies, but also the small guy who's got that single idea and wants to you know move it up and commercialize it. My favorite part is that Every day I have a new problem. This company has this challenge, how can I go through and solve this? How do I come up with new renewable energy scenarios that I wouldn't have been able to afford before? When you start to see those changes, those trends, get you very excited about what's going on. Jewels in the United States, like the National Laboratory System, are really important for industry to utilize in bringing the United States to the forefront on clean energy manufacturing technologies. One thing that's important to realize is that we're not going to win every single part of the clean energy race. There are going to be places where we have competitive advantages, and there are going to be places where we just don't. And so together we need to work to make sure that we're targeting those opportunities where the United States can take the lead and win based on our competitive advantage and strengthening that. It changed what's possible, and I think that's the essence of what can be done through the Clean Energy Manufacturing Initiative and through amazing new public-private partnerships that we can launch.